Hey, what's up tech fans? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be creating a macOS High Sierra installer for Hackintosh systems. Before I get started, if you have any issues at all, go to markwithtech.com and post your issues there. All links will be down in the description below. The requirements in order to do this are as follows, an 8GB flash drive or larger, and a working macOS installation. Go ahead and download Clover Revision 4082 or above, apfs.efi, fakesmc.kext, and config.plist file. Now we need to reformat the flash drive to be macOS extended journaled. To do this, open Disk Utility and click on your flash drive. At the top of the window, press the Erase button. A submenu will appear and you'll want to change everything to match as shown on the screen. You need to name your flash drive USB. Once everything matches, press Erase. If Disk Utility fails to erase the drive, simply redo this last step. If that doesn't work, unplug your flash drive and plug it back in. Now we need to open Terminal. Once you are in Terminal, paste the command that is found in the description below. Then press enter on your keyboard. It will ask you for your password, which you will need to type in. This will not show any indication of your password being typed in, so you're going to have to wing it and then press enter. Now it will ask you to type the letter Y on your keyboard, followed by pressing enter again. The installer will now be copied over to your flash drive. Leave this running and do not close out of terminal or unplug the flash drive until it says done. Once terminal says done, we can then move on to the bootloader. Open up the Clover installer package, press continue, continue, change install location, then select install macOS 10.13. Continue, customize, then select install for UEFI booting only, open the drivers 64 UEFI dropdown menu, and select both OSX aptio fix 2 drv 64 and partition dxe 64 then press install. Once this is finished, open up Finder and find the EFI drive. Open that up, then open the EFI folder, then Clover. In here, copy over the config.plist file and replace the existing one. Now open the driver64 UEFI folder, then copy over apfs.efi. Back up to the Clover folder, then open the kex folder, other, then drop in the fakesmc.kex file into that folder. You can also add in any other kex that you may need. If this is a USB 3 drive, download and add in generic USB xhci.kex found on my website. Links are in the description. I also added in my motherboard's ethernet kex. Once this is done, you are able to reboot and install Mac OS High Sierra. Thank you guys for watching the video, subscribe, like, and share it. Be sure to subscribe to see more Hackintosh content in the future, and I'll see you next time. See ya.